Okay. Now, we'll have to start. This is, uh, okay, so first slide. This is all about introductory. What is nursing education? Okay, so we have here Department of Nursing Program, nurse, Advanced Nursing Education Curriculum Development. So this is my objective. My objective composed of three domains, the three major domains of uh, three major domains of Benjamin Bloom. Okay, so we have the cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. All right, so we have so here acquired the opportunity to expand wonderful experiences, both practical and theoretical advances, advancements in nursing profession. Showcase the significance of differences in performance. Demonstrate teaching and patient skills with confidence. Develop a well, well sorry, well-rounded lesson and clinical teaching plan as well as you have to create realistic curriculum applicable to the end users, okay? End users means that this, can be, this can be national, local, or developed or developing countries, okay? I will accept this first. All right. Okay, so now let's proceed. So these are, these are some images about nursing education, how nurses come into existence. So now you see, Okay, you see this one. So these are nurses. Okay, render patients at the bedside. So you see how you can imagine, okay, at that time when you were born, you were serving this type of patients only with the lamp and the pen. Okay, can you imagine even this time, if there is no mebrat, you will complain. Okay, because services, services cannot be cannot be postured or proceeded. Now, how, how about at this time? Okay, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so these are also nurses. Okay, so now, because of our innovations, Florence Nightingale, okay, plan to increase advancement way forward for our education. You see, if you are only there for duty with the lamp, okay, how can you imagine? Patients are crying, okay, aching for pain. All right, so now, because of increased innovation, you see here, okay, innovation. So nurses is not only working at the patient with the, with the blue lamp, with the lamp. Okay, so you are, you are here working, can you see this one? You have surgery, you're attending the, because we are trying to innovate what are the convenience or the innovative styles. So now, you see this one, these are nurses before, okay, nurses, the, the nurses or the student nurses should be inspected. This is what they call as circle. Okay, circle. So they should wear complete uniform as the matron inspect their uniform. Proper and complete. Now, because of innovation, we try to engage, accelerating our profession. You see this one from step to step. Okay, from step to step until, okay, we reach... Okay, the technology. Okay, so now, so much for that. Okay, let's proceed to next slide. All right, still introduction. Okay, next slide. What is the purpose of nursing education? Why are you, why do you want to be educated more and higher than you have? Okay, so nursing education focus on the on educating health care people about effective ways to deliver the health care to patients. Effective ways. We have practices before, but we want to make it more and effective. So it educates nurses about how to administer different medicines, to examine patient. Examine patient, this is by way of assessment and analyzing situation. Okay, it need, it need not only be physical, but the condition pathological is it. We are all versed with pathology. Okay, the pathophysio that we learn from the classroom, from our basic education, up to delivery of best services. Best services, this is holistic understanding the generational level of our patient. We have pediatrics, we have adult, we have mature, we have, we have old age and the borderline. Okay, so it aim also in development of the nursing profession. So we are not only, do not accept that we are only puppet by the doctor. We are servant by the doctor. No, we have our profession. We have our own practice. 
Okay? So you have to debate to the doctor if they demean us. All right, so still continue. Before one can teach nursing, one must become minimum. Minimum meaning at least you are an, an RN, registered nurse. Or even in this country, Ethiopia, we can at least be a diploma. Okay? A diploma. We finished health uh, nursing, health uh, healthcare, that, the two years that you have here. Okay? So, and then it goes up into registered nurse. To become an RN, registered nurse meaning you are licensed. You pass the licensure examination. Other countries, okay, they have licensure examination. We have two types of licensure, the mandatory, okay, the mandatory as well as the required. Okay, those are the types of uh, licensure. Mandatory, you cannot work without license. You have to pass licensure. Okay, so... Uh, the required is as long as you finish your course, you pass your comprehensive, you can work. Okay? So most nurse educators complete master's degree in nursing, although some doctorate is required to teach at most universities. Okay, so if we go into if we go into labeling, okay, so one master to 30 students. Okay, so 30 students here. It, uh, it uh, means to say that 30 students, the undergraduate. So one master, one to uh, 30 students undergraduate. If the student is more than 30, we should have two master teachers. Okay? So the, teach, the teacher should have a master degree. It should be 10 books ahead from the student. Not that after graduation, they have to teach. After graduation, that first graduate should be at the bedside for more skills and practice. Okay, understand? Okay, next. The, the, there is planned curriculum. Okay, for a planned curriculum, like we have now, this is a planned curriculum. All right, so when you say planned curriculum, usually with clinical practice experiences, you will not be accepted without clinical practice. Okay, so when you plan curriculum, it prepares for the nurses to Okay, to who, who, who are those qualified to diploma? Okay, the, dip the, diploma, uh, the diploma graduate should accelerate into BSN because he cannot, she cannot enroll in the master without passing the BSN. Correct? Then you have to associate baccalaureate. These are the bachelor degree, the, your four-year undergraduate. So these are, we call baccalaureate. Then the master's and the last level, the highest level is our doctoral. Now, if you are before, before there is no much uh, specialization about doctorate. Okay, so if you are, if you are an educator, you will be accelerated to PhD education. PhD education. Okay, that is the highest level. If you are in the clinical attach, in the clinical practice, in the clinic, in the in the hospital industry, okay, your highest level can be only master. But if you want to be accelerated to become a PhD, yours is also education at that time. But this time there is now there is now a, a specialization like gerontology innovation, medical surgical adult nursing doctorate. Okay, at this time. Now, uh, the plan curriculum also include for those who has the certificate, continuing education, and the service program. Okay, so did you follow? Did you follow? Yes, did you follow? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. so next is according, according to nursing education, Florence Nightingale is always the pioneer. Okay, the previous and the modern nursing is considered Florence Nightingale. Don't forget, she is our mother. Okay, because without her, we cannot be a professional. Okay, so that is Florence Nightingale, a pioneer, established the nursing school or the idea about nursing. Okay, so she started in St. Thomas Hospital at London because she is a British. Okay, she, she, is, a, she is born in Britain, okay, with a British parents. Okay, when she, when she opened the Nightingale, uh, this is the first call that she opened, all right? So it, 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 it improves the year as she, okay, as she wanted to develop our skill in nursing. So in, she founded in 1873 the Bellevue Hospital School of Nursing in New York. 
Okay, so this, it becomes the Bellevue Hospital School of Nursing becomes the first school of nursing in the United States. All right. So, but in London, what is the what is the first school? So Thomas Hospital. Okay, hello, hello. Okay, so now in the in seal in 1883, the Medical University of South Carolina College of Nursing. So this was also founded and established. Okay, as per request of the of the Roper Hospital. This Roper Hospital is known as the City Hospital in Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, so now it improves into 1886, there was a calamity, earthquake. Okay, the earthquake destroyed the hospital. What hospital was destroyed? The Medical University of South Carolina. Okay, and then what happened? After, after the devastation, okay, they built, rebuild. Okay, the nursing program was established in 1895. Okay, so in 1919, the Rapper Hospital Training School for Nursing became the School of Nursing of Medical College of the State of Carolina. This was after the calamity, after the typhoon. In 1969, when the medical designated the Medical University of South Carolina, the School of Nursing became the College of Nursing. So from the school, you remember, from the school, it becomes to a college, okay? So from school, meaning to say, school is only limited number of students. So when you say college, it becomes widened, okay? They accommodate more, more, more students, okay? So of course, of course, nursing students. In 1899, 1889, sorry, the John Hopkins School of Nursing was founded in conjunction with creation of the John Hopkins Hospital. So this is considered as one of the earliest hospital-based nursing school. Okay, one of the earliest. So where, where it is found, where it is found, okay, it is in the John Hopkins Hospital. Okay, so it is the one of earliest hospital-based nursing school in United States, right? So then in 1909, in 1909, the University of Minnesota offered the first university-based nursing program. Okay, this one earliest hospital-based nursing school. This one is the first university-based nursing program where in Minnesota, okay? So it offered the first Bachelor of Science in Nursing. First Bachelor. You say Bachelor, it is four years. Okay? It is for it Bachelor. You cannot be called Bachelor if you are only three years. You are considered as graduate nurse. If you are two years, you are diploma. If you are three years, you are graduate nurse. If you are four years, you are Bachelor. Hello? Hello? Okay, and the, and the graduate of the first bachelor degree, educated nursing. So this is Minnesota is considered as the first and pioneer, okay, graduates of nurses. Okay, so next, in, in 1916, 13 universities and three colleges had developed bachelors of nursing degree program in 1916. Okay, but, but there are, uh, this is not mentioning about the school, but what I read is only this one. So in 1923, the Yale School of Nursing was founded. It became the first school of nursing to adapt, okay, to adapt, to adapt, you read? Okay, to adapt the educational standards. So when you say educational standard, what is in your mind? If you see educational standard, what is come? What comes in your mind? What comes in your mind? There are what? The, the quality of education you? about. Yeah, okay. this is the quality of education about. The quality. Is, okay, like for example, measurements. Okay, making our our nursing care plan. Okay, we follow some standards. Okay, thank you, Ishito. The curriculum was based on an educational plan. Okay, educational plan rather on hospital service needs. So educational plan meaning you are given the chance to accelerate your learning. Hello? In 1956, the Columbia University School of Nursing became the first in the United States to grant a master degree. 
Okay? So the first bachelor degree, where is it? Okay, where is it? Okay, so here, na it, Columbia University School of Nursing became the first school in United States to grant master degree of clinical nursing specialty. You remember that one? Okay, now another, there are factors, okay, driving the transformation of education, which include new medical and technological advancement. This is not only for doctors, this is not only for MDs, but this is also applicable to us nurses, okay? New healthcare delivery system and expanded rule of nurses. That's why you are, you are required, okay, especially in 2020, all nurses, either an instructor or in the clinical, okay, in the clinical practice, must have a master degree. Okay, must have a master degree. Now, here you can see here, the Federal Division of Nursing predict that by 2010, 2010, so this 10 years ago, okay, 10 years ago, so demand for nurses with Bachelor of Science in Nursing and Master of Science in Nursing. So at this time, all nurses should be, okay, should be a holder of master degree. Right, so I am also happy and appreciated your effort, okay, to increase, to improve your educational status. I'm happy to that, right? So here, you can see today, this year, 2020, the demand for BSN. Doctor. Please, please silence. Please make your, please make your, what's this? Uh, uh, microphone mute. Yes, yes, Atariko. Please mute all microphones. Please, Mike, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing. Who is that? Mute all those. Huh? You all mute. All right. Now, in today is 2020. We are all in Gregorian calendar. Okay, we are finishing. Okay, we are towards the end of the, the last quarter of 2020. So here it says that demand for BSN and MSN graduate will grow nearly twice as fast as expected to increase the workforce. So there are many now uh, the nurses from the BS, from the baccalaureate program, it accelerated to a master degree. Right, so you can even hear that there are nurses are having PhD in nursing. Okay, so, so what are the degrees offered at that time and up to carried by this time? We have at first diploma in nursing. Okay, this is your clinical, then licensed practical nursing. Licensed practical nursing, this is two years also, but practicing in California and other countries. Okay, but they acquire license. That's why they call license practical because they are working side by side below the level of the BS or baccalaureate graduate. Then you have associate of science in nursing. Associate of science in nursing, this is also two years. Okay, but they cannot be a nurse. They can't be a nurse. They are also an assistant at the level of this. Okay, this one at the level. But associate is higher than the diploma because they learn more anatomy, physiology. Okay, they learn uh, higher, higher learning because diploma is more on practical skill. Diploma is more on practical skill at the bedside. When you say associate, okay, you are learning more than the diploma. Okay, theoretically. Then the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, this is the four year. Okay, so your Bachelor of Science in Nursing, if there is no major, you are considered generalist. You can function in psychiatry, you can function in pediatric, you can function in delivery and all total field of nursing. Okay, so if, if you can hear Bachelor of Science in Nursing, those who are up, upgraded now, upgraded, okay, in the surgical, in the ACC and OPTA, those are specialists. They function only to their specialized field but not as the, as the Bachelor of Science that they can function overall. Follow? Then the Masters of Science in Nursing, it depends on what is your specialty. Okay. Doctor of Science, uh, Doctor of Nursing practice. This is, mostly, this is mostly in the clinical practice. Okay. In the hospital practice, your Doctor of Philosophy in Nursing, you have PhD. Okay. This is related to your teaching skills. All right. So next is you have to 
now, for my justification about the discussion for the introduction that I had okay, uh, discussed with you now, so we have we can say because this is part of your requirement how to make justification. Okay, so for example, right, nursing education is designed. It is designed to prepare professional nurses in the global new world of education in a step by step process. So which come from from the root, which is conventional learning to online learning. Do you agree? So the justification of your topic must deal with the new world of education, okay? So holding a master's degree in nursing education help prepare the practicing nurses for academic. Please mute, please mute. If you are not interested, you can go. Leave the meeting. All right, so. Holding a master's degree in nursing education help prepare the practicing nurses for academic and clinical teaching roles with a performance deemed to be way forward. Way forward meaning to say you should be advanced. Okay, you should be advanced of what you have now. The conventional type, you make it advanced. That's way forward. Okay, in addressing the dynamic phenomenon of nursing, the changing, okay, the changing current, the changing trend of nursing. And lastly, the origin where the nursing evil defines the meaning of nursing, not only at bedside, but a global application for generational nurses. When you say generational nurses, okay, these are according to level of your generation. So we have, at this time, there are many baby boomer nurses. Baby boomer nurses. Baby boomer nurses, those nurses are 50 above and 60 okay, years old. Those nurses were born during the Second World War. Okay, those were the, uh, the baby boomer nurses. Then follow the steps. Okay, then you have millennial nurses. Okay, millennial nurses and the Y generation nurses. The Y generation nurses, those are belonging to technology. Okay. Technology. That's why when you ask them how to do this, they are very they're very fast. But if I will ask you, those who are 50 above, how will I do this? I don't know. Okay? So we should, we should know how to work and deal with these people. We can say that those people are advanced. They have their wisdom. They have their knowledge already. And here comes the new graduate baccalaureate. What is in his mind? Only assessment. Only taking vital signs. Agree? Agree? When you, when you get into the hospital service, okay, as a new graduate, what is in your mind only to assist and take vital signs? Okay, so if we, if we ask for those who are very experienced, they know the skills, theoretically little. Okay, in summary, nursing education transforms the life and the profession of an individual with explicit theoretical, practical training and learning following the step-by-step -step from diploma to a doctor degree. And another summary, it transcends from the founding of nursing care at bedside to formal education that embraced with significant history, origin, and dates to honor its existence. Why we exist? What is our root? Okay, another is the innovative abilities of nursing, leverage. Leverage means building bridge. Okay, leverage the ideas to continuing education to the highest degree distinctively. And lastly, the transformation of nursing education from the conventional lamp and pen to the new generation impact of technology and the invention of artificial intelligence into healthcare. Then what are these artificial intelligence or the AI? These are the machine type. For example, the robot. Right now are existing. Not only the robot, the robot, the plastic one. There are people converted into robots. Okay? There are people converted into robots. So you cannot just say that this is a robot or human because when you touch, he is like a human. But his body is run by chips. 
So that is your artificial intelligence. Aside from this, okay, even the, the human resource are practicing artificial intelligence. Doctors also are practicing in artificial intelligence. For example, that the computer itself, the computer downloading, those are also part of your art, uh, um, artificial intelligence. Now, if the artificial intelligence becomes more and more and more in the field, in, in our industry of nursing, okay, so what is the effect of it in our profession? Our labor becomes down. Why? Because we are only uh, depending on the artificial intelligence or the machine. So the machine will, will not get sick. The machine will not get more increased. The machine will not get pregnant because, okay, the, 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 the employee might be leave for third, three, uh, three months or 90 days because of maternity leave, okay, or others with sick leave, right? So that's why they are practicing now artificial intelligence, right? So what's the effect of this? We have to fight and we have to stand by our own feet that nursing as human being is caring attitude. Hello? Hello? Are you here with me? Yes, we are here. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So thank you very much. This is the, the last slide that I had. Okay. So any question? Any question? None? I, I am dispensing. I am dispensing my first slide. Okay, to your email for the for the government group. Okay, so I will send to the private group later, a few minutes after this. Okay, so uh, I am finished my discussion for the introduction part. I will follow another topic, which is which is I did not include that as your assignment. Okay, I will do that because that is very critical. Okay, so test construction, test construction, and test bank. So we will have that as our seminar. I will also invite other faculty to deliver some portion of the topic, okay? And it will be announced later before we finish our class, right? So uh, since I'm finished tomorrow, we don't, we don't have online class. We don't have virtual class tomorrow. You have to start writing your report and we will start the reportorial on Friday. Hello? Hello? Then okay. you, have, you have to choose since the two groups are joining together, the two groups are joining together, the private and the government. Okay, so surging together. So now each one of you should choose only one topic, no longer two topics. Hello? Only one. And there are 25 topics to be discussed, to choose from and please follow the structure that i have sent to you the structure i have sent to you in the, in the in the telegram the guideline i sent to you in the email then for the criteria i will send it later okay so hello Everybody yes, yes. Follow? all right yes. I, I i think we still have time all right so i will discuss something okay so we have we have three activities major activities in this subject all right, so first in letter A, that is the report. Okay, and then the letter B is your lesson plan making, lesson plan making plus your mm -hmm. clinical practice plan making and your micro teaching. Okay, and your micro teaching. This is your second assignment. The third assignment is you have to create, okay, you have to create a curriculum. Thank you.